Welcome back to the channel. Today, we have an interesting and fun topic that is sure to grab your attention. In this episode, we will explore the shocking moments when famous people met their doppelgangers. From shocking similarities to uncanny similarities, these encounters are sure to leave you in awe. So without further ado, let's get started. The fake Drake became an internet sensation when he revealed the eye-popping sum of $55,000 he earned just for making appearances at events. His popularity soared so much that he decided to up his fee to $10,000 for club appearances, reflecting the high demand for his presence. In a candid interview with No Jumper, he opened up about the challenges that come with his uncanny resemblance to the rapper Drake. One of the biggest challenges he faces is the constant need for security. Due to the sheer number of people who mistake him for the real Drake, particularly in places like Miami, he finds himself swarmed wherever he goes. This overwhelming attention has pushed him to hire security personnel to ensure his safety. Despite the financial benefits and attention, he admits it's a double-edged sword. While he enjoys the perks of being recognized and compensated handsomely, the need for security underscores the blurred lines between fame, impersonation, and personal safety. Natalie Portman and Millie Bobby Brown have both captivated audiences with their exceptional talent from a young age. Fans couldn't help but notice a sense of deja vu when observing their careers unfold. Those familiar with Portman's early achievements found striking similarities in Brown's meteoric rise to fame. From their physical features to their mannerisms, the parallels were evident. During a memorable moment at the Golden Globes a few months ago, Brown approached Portman and shared that people often told her she resembled a younger version of the acclaimed actress. Portman, visibly touched by the comparison, expressed her admiration for Brown's charm and talent. She graciously acknowledged the resemblance while emphasizing that Brown possesses her own unique magic. This encounter not only highlighted the uncanny similarities between the two actresses, but also underscored Brown's individuality and burgeoning career in her own right. Ashley Leachin has gained significant attention online for her striking resemblance to Taylor Swift, which has helped her amass a significant following of over 100,000 across social media platforms. Despite her career as a nurse, Ashley often finds herself in hilarious situations where patients mistake her for the pop star. This unexpected celebrity doppelganger has taken an unusual turn for her nursing career combining her daily care of patients with moments of celebrity recognition. Taylor Swift's mother has even noticed Ashley's resemblance to her daughter, prompting the singer herself to comment on the resemblance. This acknowledgement from Taylor Swift has boosted Ashley's online popularity, sparking discussions and interactions from fans fascinated by her uncanny resemblance. The viral nature of her resemblance not only brought Ashley unexpected fame, but also highlighted people's curiosity and fascination with celebrity lookalikes in everyday life. Gabby Demartino, a popular YouTuber boasting a staggering 3 million followers, is widely known for her deep admiration of Ariana Grande. At one point, Gabby posted a video showcasing her impersonation of Ariana, a move that initially stirred up controversy among fans and even prompted some critical remarks from the singer herself on Twitter. Despite this rocky start, 
Their story took a surprising turn when Gabi and Ariana eventually crossed paths in person. Their meeting marked a turning point in their relationship. It led to a reconciliation between Gabi and Ariana, illustrating how initial misunderstandings can give way to genuine connections. In a testament to their newfound rapport, Gabi was invited to make a significant cameo appearance in Ariana Grande's music video for Thank You, Next, a pivotal moment that cemented their bond. This journey from initial friction to a collaborative and supportive relationship highlights the complexities of fame and fandom in the digital age. On that remarkable day, a fan with curly hair sparked a wave of excitement when she stood up in the audience, revealing an uncanny resemblance to none other than Oprah Winfrey herself. As Caroline introduced herself, the room momentarily froze in disbelief. Her presence seemed to blur the line between reality and celebrity, prompting double takes and whispers of astonishment. The atmosphere crackled with energy as people exchanged glances, trying to reconcile the unexpected likeness. Yeah, curly hair does it, remarked a voice in the crowd, breaking the spell with a nod of recognition. Curly's definitely the way to go. The moment not only showcased the power of appearance in creating memorable encounters, but also underscored the universal appeal of Oprah's iconic persona. It was a testament to how a single feature can evoke such strong associations and playful reactions, turning an ordinary audience member into a delightful surprise for everyone present. In a memorable July 2002 episode of Late Night with Conan O'Brien, the host had a surprising encounter with his doppelganger, Dana Immin, from North Carolina. Conan seized the opportunity to test their resemblance by inviting Dana to Rockefeller Center in New York City to see if anyone would mistake him for the real Conan O'Brien. Throughout the day, Dana found himself constantly being stopped by people to take pictures with him, believing him to be Conan O'Brien. When asked for a photo, Dana jokingly replied, Can I take your picture? The hilarious confusion continued as people commented on his supposed other look on TV, to which Dana hilariously replied, Yes, Conan O'Brien, you're right. This amusing interaction highlights the surreal experience of encountering your doppelganger and the hilarious antics that occur when mistaken identity becomes a daily occurrence. The episode remains a classic example of how uncanny similarities can lead to unexpected and funny moments. An aspiring bodybuilder began sharing her fitness journey on Instagram. Little did she know that her posts would catapult her into the ranks of celebrities, but not for the reason she originally intended. Instead of being recognized for her dedication to fitness, many on social media began speculating that she was actually Jennifer Lopez, operating under a different account. This case of mistaken identity became famous, with many followers commenting that she resembled the famous singer and actress. Amused by the confusion, she humorously explained, I just said, no, I'm not Jennifer Lopez, I'm Jay from Houston. Despite her attempts to clarify, the comparisons continued for over a decade, turning her into an unwitting internet sensation known for her uncanny resemblance to a global celebrity. The experience highlighted the unpredictable nature of online fame and how a simple resemblance can spark widespread attention and speculation.
Steve Harvey found himself stunned during a television show when he encountered a contestant who not only bore a striking resemblance to him, but, some would argue, was even more handsome. Oh my gosh, you look just like me, Steve exclaimed, blending surprise with amusement. He then humorously admitted, damn, I hate to admit it, but I'm an honest guy, you're actually a little better looking than me. The audience erupted in laughter at Steve's candid and witty response, showcasing his charismatic personality. This unexpected moment highlighted the unpredictable nature of television, where celebrity lookalikes can unexpectedly appear and create memorable interactions. Steve's ability to playfully acknowledge the contestant's appearance demonstrated his charm and entertainment prowess, turning what could have been a mere resemblance into a humorous and engaging moment for everyone involved. When One Direction became famous, one teenager suddenly found himself in the spotlight. His striking resemblance to Harry Styles led to him being stopped on the street, where people began to recognize him and snap photos that quickly went viral. Despite never having met Harry Styles in person, the teenager was thrilled to learn that Styles recognized him during a TV appearance, describing the experience as amazing. In an interview, his doppelganger reflected on how his life had completely changed. People always ask for pictures when I'm out in public, he shared, chuckling. And I even get a lot of marriage proposals on Twitter. The attention and recognition has certainly transformed his everyday experiences, turning him into a mini-celebrity in his own right. His story highlights the power of celebrity resemblance and how social media can amplify such encounters, making everyday life surprisingly interesting. Viewers often find themselves in a state of confusion when trying to distinguish between Victoria Justice and Nina Dobrev. This ongoing mix-up took on a new dimension of intrigue when their off-screen friendship was highlighted at the Teen Choice Awards. During the ceremony, Victoria stepped up to the podium to present Nina with the prestigious award for Best Sci-Fi Actress. As Victoria handed over the award, she couldn't resist adding a playful twist to the moment. With a grin, she remarked, Oh, my doppelganger, Nina, drawing laughter from the audience and further cementing the humorous acknowledgement of their striking resemblance. The exchange not only underscored their camaraderie, but also showcased their shared sense of humor about the frequent comparisons made between them. Their friendship and the lighthearted banter at the awards ceremony served as a charming reminder of the unique bonds that can form in the entertainment industry. Ed Sheeran found himself in an extraordinary situation surrounded not by one, but by four individuals who bore an uncanny resemblance to him. It was akin to stepping into an alternate universe where EDS outnumbered everyone else, prompting Ed to humorously address the unusual gathering. Hey, what's going on? Ed greeted them with a mix of surprise and curiosity. First off, I have to ask you guys, have any of you actually met the real Ed before? Yeah, I met T back in 2012 in Manchester, one of the lookalikes responded, reminiscing about their first encounter. It was quite a shock, realizing how similar we looked. I actually ran into another guy at a festival who everyone thought was me, added another doppelganger with a laugh. I had to do a double take because I couldn't believe it either. For Ed Sheeran, 
encountering multiple versions of himself highlighted the unpredictability of fame and the unique experiences it brings. A few years ago, a photo went viral showing Billie Eilish next to someone who looked uncannily similar to her, almost like a twin. The image sparked widespread interest and discussion among fans about celebrity lookalikes. While such encounters with lookalikes are rare, a notable comparison has emerged with Argentinian celebrity Nikki Nicole. Nikki Nicole has been the subject of constant comparisons to Billie Eilish due to their strikingly similar looks and shared fashion sense. Fans on social media platforms have pointed out their similarities, highlighting how both artists' unique aesthetics resonate with audiences around the world. Despite living in different parts of the world and pursuing separate careers, the comparisons between Nikki Nicole and Billie Eilish highlight the shared appeal of their distinctive looks and artistic personalities. Their parallel styles not only reinforce their individual identities, but also demonstrate their global reach and influence. Zooey Deschanel and Katy Perry always attract attention whenever they appear on screen. Katy Perry has openly shared in interviews that before she became famous, she would occasionally impersonate Zooey to get into clubs in Los Angeles. This revelation piqued the curiosity of fans, who were delighted when the two eventually became close friends. Their friendship blossomed further when Zooey appeared in one of Katy Perry's music videos. Their dynamic, marked by shared quirks and mutual appreciation for each other's talents, continues to resonate with audiences who admire their personalities and friendship. This story not only highlights the playful side of their relationship, but also highlights how genuine relationships can grow from unexpected beginnings in the entertainment industry. As two icons known for their unique style and personalities, Zooey Deschanel and Katy Perry's friendship serves as a reminder of the lasting impact of shared experiences in Hollywood. The producers of Good Morning America embarked on an exciting mission scouting the entire United States to find the doppelgangers of their hosts. When the mirror moved, revealing Taylor Hill's lookalike, the audience erupted in applause. Come on out, they encouraged, as the doppelgangers stepped forward one by one. Each resemblance was uncanny, drawing amazed gasps and laughter from the crowd. However, it was Josh Elliott's double that truly left everyone stunned. The similarity was so striking that fans were kind of freaked out, with some even suggesting a DNA test might be in order. The doppelganger looked so much like Josh that it seemed almost surreal. How you doing back there? Josh asked, clearly amused and a bit taken aback by the situation. The segment was an instant hit, capturing the imaginations of viewers and leaving everyone talking about the incredible resemblances long after the show ended. Camilla Osman is a Canadian model who has attracted nearly a million followers because of her uncanny resemblance to Kim Kardashian. Despite the striking resemblance, Osman insists she has never tried to copy Kim's appearance. This fascinating resemblance led to a memorable moment on Keeping Up With The Kardashians. In a playful attempt to make Kim jealous because she was too busy to hang out with him, her best friend Jonathan Shaban decided to surprise her with his doppelganger. 
Kim's reaction was absolutely priceless. She exclaimed upon seeing Osman, clearly surprised. I thought that was your car, but it's nice to meet you. The unexpected encounter caused both Kim and Osman to burst into laughter, creating a fun and spontaneous moment on the show. The scene not only highlighted Kim's genuine surprise and humor, but also the playful dynamic of her friendship with Jonathan. This hilarious prank brings joy and entertainment to both celebrities and their fans. A man from Russia bears an unusual resemblance to a larger Leonardo DiCaprio, leading him to launch his own reality TV show. Taking on the persona of Macau Mall, he's ingeniously capitalized on his striking appearance. His show charges admission for appearances, where women can reenact the iconic Titanic scene alongside him on a model of the ship, with him portraying a plus-size version of DiCaprio and women playing Kate Winslet. Macau Mall's venture underscores his entrepreneurial spirit and creativity in the entertainment industry. By leveraging his resemblance to the Hollywood star, he's tapped into a niche market that celebrates celebrity doppelgangers. This unique approach not only highlights his uncanny likeness to DiCaprio, but also explores the broader fascination with celebrity culture. The popularity of Macau Mall's reality TV show speaks volumes about the universal intrigue surrounding celebrity lookalikes. Max Kessler, a New York accountant, always knew he bore a striking resemblance to Adam Sandler, but the resemblance took a surprising turn when Sandler played a character named Max Kessler in the movie The Do-Over. The coincidence piqued Max's curiosity, prompting him to share a comparison photo of himself and Sandler on Reddit. The post quickly gained traction and went viral, eventually catching the attention of Adam Sandler himself. Impressed by the uncanny resemblance, Sandler invited Max to attend the premiere of The Doe Over. Max was both thrilled and humbled by the gesture, describing the experience as surreal but also satisfying. Reflecting on the events, Max admitted that discovering that his lookalike's name was also Max Kessler added a layer of humor and disbelief to the situation. The entire journey from being a regular accountant to becoming an internet sensation and attending a Hollywood movie premiere. During one of her shows, Ellen DeGeneres experienced such a moment that left both her and the audience in stitches. While scanning the crowd, Ellen was taken aback by an audience member who bore a striking resemblance to her. The similarity was so uncanny that Ellen couldn't help but go off script. Addressing the audience, she asked, Did you all see her in line and think it was me? Did you think it was me? The audience roared with laughter as the doppelganger nodded, revealing that she often gets mistaken for Ellen on the street. Ellen, ever the quick-witted host, suggested they take a picture together to capture the humorous moment. She added with a laugh. She even runs like me, the audience member played along, mimicking Ellen's iconic jog, much to the delight of everyone present. This delightful encounter was a highlight of the show showcasing Ellen's spontaneous humor and the surprising fun of celebrity lookalikes. A Wednesday Adams cosplay went viral after a TikTok user's makeup transformation went viral, 
showcasing her impressive skills in recreating the iconic character's look. The video garnered widespread attention, eventually catching the attention of both the show's producers and Jenna Ortega, who plays Wednesday in the series. Excited by the fans' dedication and attention to detail, Jenna Ortega decided to surprise her on set. Wait, oh my gosh, show me the costume, Jenna exclaimed upon meeting the fan. Hi, it's me. Do you want to come in and see the set and what we're up to? Sure, cool. Jenna happily remarked. She looks a little more like Wednesday than I do. This heartwarming encounter not only celebrates the creativity and passion of fans, but also proves the profound impact that fan interactions have on the entertainment industry. It highlights how platforms like TikTok can amplify fans' expressions and connect them with their favorite stars. Emma McKee made her debut on the big screen in 2019 through a Netflix show, and her uncanny resemblance to Margot Robbie immediately caught the attention of fans and media alike. It quickly became a running joke among followers that they had never seen Emma and Margot in the same room together. The resemblance was so uncanny that Margot Robbie herself shared a humorous encounter with a fan who mistook her for Emma in a restaurant. Recalling the incident, Margot said, I was munching on a burger at Apple Pan, and this person came up to me all excited, saying they loved me in sex education and how cool the show is. I had to break it to them gently that they had the wrong person. This amusing mix-up only fueled the ongoing fascination with their look-alike status. Both actresses have since embraced the comparisons with grace and humor. The parallel between Emma McKee and Margot Robbie continues to spark conversations and playful speculation among fans. Adele's London concert became the setting for a heartwarming BBC hoax, involving a group of Adele imitators who were led to believe they were competing for a TV show. Unbeknownst to them, Adele was actually among them in disguise, complete with prosthetic nose and hands. Throughout the gathering, Adele chatted with the imitators, seamlessly blending into their discussion of their careers. She casually mentioned her own experiences, noting that demand for imitators had slowed down recently. The imitators shared their own stories, unaware that they were chatting with the global superstar herself. The hoax culminated when Adele finally revealed her true identity to the imitators. Their reactions were nothing short of disbelief and shock when they realized they had been chatting with the person they were imitating. The genuine surprise and admiration from the imitators underscored Adele's skills, not only as a singer, but also as an actress. Thank you for watching my video. There are many other interesting things in the next videos. Please look forward to it. Thank you and goodbye.